you really really get the best you know as, as far as that regard and I think it's you know one of the toughest conferences and you got to be ready to play every Saturday and you really got to thank those guys who you know keep you on your toes and you know get you ready for you know this next level. Does Michigan State's uh, offensive line tradition mean to you? You guys have had a couple guys out. Yeah no um you know when we first got there there were you know a couple guys you heard of Flozell Adams and, and stuff like that but I think uh you know my generation, my older brother's generation, a Michigan State offensive line has kind of, you know, put some guys, you know, in the books that, you know, will be remembered, the Jack Conklins, you know, Donovan Clarks, you know, my older brother, just guys that, you know, people look up to and people respect. And, you know, that was one of my goals going there, just kind of leave a legacy like them. And, you know, they left a great example for me, you know, what to follow and, you know, what to be like. So you know, that's really just, you know, what we tried to do. And, and I think that's one of the strongest groups, you know, in that program. And, you know, that's the the toughest part about leaving, you know, going to train and being here is, you know, I'm not at school and, you know, it's something that, you know, you know is coming, leaving, but, you know, it's different when you're not there and they're there, so. Have you any advice for Coach D or Coach State in the last few weeks? No, I, I've been talking to him. I've been, you know, been in contact with them, so I think Coach State misses me a little bit, so, you know, he'll, he'll call me every now and then, just let him know how I'm doing, what I'm, what I'm going through, so, yeah, so. What was the, what was the hardest game you played in? Hardest game? In my career this year, uh, either. No, there's there's a lot of played in a lot of stadiums, a lot of venues, but everyone asks these questions. But I'd say Oregon, Oregon and Nebraska were probably the loudest I've played at. Um, that year 2015, when we made it to the playoff, everyone you know was kind of chasing us. I mean, every we we got everyone's best shot. We got every stadium's you know capacity and stuff like that. So that year was just crazy. Playing in Michigan, Ohio State. Penn State, you know, all those all those places are awesome to play at and just good experience. Brian, it might be cliche to say, but obviously when every kid goes gets the dream of going to the NFL, speaking of your older brother, it's usually the, you know, what are you going to buy mom and dad or what are you going to do for your family, kind of return the, the favor of all the hours they put in, taking you guys to practice and so on. So what does the younger brother of an NFL player do for his family that, since that's pretty much already been taken care of? Yeah, uh, nothing, nothing really. <laughs> kind of a loser, so pretty easy going and <laughs> You know, I don't, uh, I don't need anything. I don't, I don't have any cars in mind. So, probably just, you know, if I get that opportunity, right, right to the bank. So. Nothing for mom and dad or anything like that either. I'll, I'll give them my love. So, you know, they, they know what they've done for me, and I'm, you know, very appreciative of what they've done, and you know, I'm grateful for that. And so. Well, how has your older brother got you? Not just prepared for the NFL, uh, so to speak, yeah, in terms of yeah. techniques and you know, mental and all that, but. Uh, the combine, especially because a lot of people come here, they see it on NFL Network and the various highlights, and they think it's one thing. And then they get to the interviews with teams yeah. and find out it's a completely different, uh, you know, world than what they imagined. What were those conversations like? No, yeah, I think. You know, not even him talking to me. I got to, you know, be there firsthand experience going through it with him. You know, watching him work out with teams and being that sophomore hiding in the corner, trying not to, you know, get caught. You know, while the field house is supposed to be cleared and stuff like that. But just seeing him going through it and I'd say the biggest thing and you know where I'm training there's a lot of guys who have been here and been through this experience and they'll tell you the same thing. So, you know, by the time you get here, you know, you really heard it all and kinda know what to expect. So I don't really throw any curveballs at you. You just know that you're not gonna get a lot of sleep and it's gonna be hard work for the five days you're here. So any meetings with teams yet so far? Yeah, I've uh, I've met with eighteen teams so far, so all informal. So. so the most interesting question you've been asked in any of these meetings. That's one thing I've been surprised by. I really, really haven't gotten any, any tough ones. So it's been mostly about football, stuff like that. So, so there's been a lot of, you know,